I don't like my mic right here. Okay, here we go. We should be live in a bunch of places. This is, um, I don't think I like my bangs like that either. Um, 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 I'm such a good broadcaster. Okay, <laughs> this is going well. All right, so we figured out the problem with the Facebook for the simulcasting chat, the Facebook, I meant the Facebook chat. So that should be coming up now. And um, it's probably gonna take a few seconds for everything to commence and for all the uh, streams to activate. It's supposed to start instantly, but I noticed there is crazy delays. Like Facebook has like a minute and a half delay. Um, so yeah, so we'll just wait to get started. I have a topic tonight and look, we have media. Media, media. All right, I have to remember to point the opposite way. <laughs> so we'll just wait for you guys to join us. I asked a question on Facebook yesterday. Well, I asked a few questions. Um, I don't. I think we're gonna just do an hour tonight, which is a little shorter than we normally do. But I was thinking maybe we'll have like a tighter show. So I wanted to do more pre-production, and I decided to ask some questions uh, to my Facebook people. And this is one of my favorite questions, and we got a lot of uh, responses, a lot of strong feelings about it. So. Um, We'll just wait for anyone to join the party. I announced on Snap that I was live. I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna just yell at my Snap audience right now. Did I, t I told Discord too. You guys are making me look bad. <laughs> um, we are playing a game. Um, every time, if you have a type of vice, I guess, okay, I'm gonna, I have to be really like ambiguous about what I'm saying here because we, we, we play by the rules, right? Um, every time I complain about how hot I am, which will be many times tonight, I want you at home, if you have any type of vice, maybe of liquid or smoking form, I want you to take, to take some of that. Maybe they call it a shot, a swig, or um, a toke, whatever. Every time I complain about how hot it is, I want you to just indulge. Uh, later on, uh, after I've complained about how hot it is many, many times, I want you to then uh, call in super, super lit, and I think it could be pretty fun. Um, let's see. I'm, I want to make sure we're showing up here. All right, hold on. All right, the stream's live. Let's see. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I thought. Okay, hold on. Because I thought I fixed the Facebook chat, yo. Not, I don't. When I say the Facebook chat, I mean Facebook chat on the stream. I'm actually going to test it right now. I'm going to type as myself. All right, hold on. Mm -hmm. We gotta find the stream. There is the stream, okay. That's right now. Oop. I said I, t I told this. I'm actually gonna test it right now. I'm gonna type this myself. All right, yay. Oh my God, it works. Look, Facebook, now I can literally see you guys typing. So that's nice. All right, and we got someone on Twitch. What's up at Twitch? I see you over there. All right, actually we'll save the battery. Chris, that is a wonderful question. Normally, men would not use tampons. Um, however, if you have a bloody nose or uh, any other bloody orifice, tampons are really good. If your ears are bleeding, um, no, that's... Uh, uh, this question was really more about um, sometimes you may have to buy tampons or you may be requested to buy tampons for a woman friend, uh, maybe a sister or... Uh, a girlfriend, um, if you have a daughter, you should probably hook her up with the tampons, you know? Um, but I know like uh, some of the guys I've dated. Um, thank you, Joe Rogan. That's normally, um, that's not always on the menu, uh, but I'm not, I'm not against it, you know? <laughs> I'm kidding, no. We're trying to keep this like classy today. Um, because ta uh, tampons and periods are totally classy and I don't know what freaks you guys out about them so much, especially if you're old enough to where, you know, you guys are sharing special time together. That means she's not pregnant, hello. You should be like, yes, I'm gonna go buy you tampons right now because tampons are cheaper than diapers. I will tell you that, they are way cheaper than diapers. Um, that is true, Jersey Rick, I am. <laughs> No, uh, don't believe everything you hear from CX. Okay, no, Joe Rogan, you're fine, you're fine. See, um, we're trying to go for a more commercial, um, well, I don't, I mean, yes, I'm outside on a bench right now. 
Uh, no, Chris, I am not. Thank you for asking. Thank you for your concern. Thank you very much for that. Um, but let's stay on topic, guys. Have you ever been asked to buy tampons before? Have you bought tampons before? Have you flat out refused? Like, what, like, what? I mean, I don't know. Like, most guys have bought me tampons, but you know, some guys are like, mm, I don't know. Um, girls are usually pretty good about tampons. See, girls, this is what we'll do. For complete strangers, we could be like at a club or a public restroom and you'll see a girl like looking really uncomfortable. Worst case scenario, she's like rolling up the paper towel <laughs> and she, you know, she like, hey, do you have a tampon? Do you have a pad? And like we will give complete strangers our tampons or whatever pads, you know, if we have one to spare. Um, I know I always have and I feel it's like it's karma. It's tampon karma because um, as I feel like as many times as I've needed one in a public place, um, I've given one, you know? So ladies, pay it forward with the tampons in public places because uh, it will come back to you when you need it. Because, you know, maybe your guy won't buy you one <laughs> and you, you know, you're screwed. So you just, you know, whatever. More awkward buying condoms. Yes, okay, see here's the thing. I um, Honestly, I have no shame. I will literally buy anything. If you uh, check out YouTube, uh, the best purchase was um, a gag, a, a ball gag. Uh, it was a joke. I ran in there and I like needed it. I like I was like I desperately need a ball gag. My my sub is just misbehaving and it was weird. Um, yeah, no, it's just it's just like items, you know. And just remember this: if you guys are going to stores, the cashiers are ringing up stuff all day long. Okay, unless they're bored they're not going to react and honestly professionally they shouldn't react to it um wow uh joe i'm gonna pass on that suggestion thank you for that great idea but um not it's just not for me it's not for me um but you know condoms can be awkward too because obviously you are going to be uh having sex if you're buying condoms so i could see how that would be like a little weird. I don't know. I have no shame. Like, I'll literally go in and buy anything. Like, there have been times my girlfriend has needed stuff, or girlfriends have needed stuff and they were too shy. Like, I have no shame. I will buy pregnancy tests. I, I will buy whatever. I will buy it in bulk. Just, not because I'm embarrassed to go into the store, but because it's inconvenient if you need it and you're like, damn it, now I gotta go to the store. It's 4 a.m. Am I pregnant? I don't know. So just stock up. Stock up on the tampons. Stock up on whatever. But guys, I wanna know. Uh, don't sleep with people unless they have condoms. Yes, we're, okay, cool, obviously. Um, especially if you're in Georgia, that is a, uh, that's a, that's a problem. Because, you know, you're, you're risking. All right, so let's stay on topic. Got oh, Joe, you're so silly. Um, also, we're playing a game. If you guys follow me on Snap, you'll know uh, the game we're playing. Every time I complain about how hot I am on stream, which I'm very freaking hot because there's lights, there's like six monitors in here. Um, there's just a lot of things just exuding heat and I'm just like, oh my God. Like it's a good thing you guys can't smell me. I don't really, I mean I don't smell bad when I sweat but like where I'm at right now, we're having like record heat and um, it's not pretty. Like it, it's not, and the AC is like, you know, it's gonna cause too much room tone and uh, It'll mess up the sound as nice as it would feel. That's what sucks about um, when you do quality type streams or even like film sets, production sets. You have the lights that are hotter than hell and then you have production um, equipment that's really hot um, because usually the ability to cool the location or studio is like, it's too noisy. There's no way to keep it cold and um, quiet, you know? Hey, Martin, that's right, we should. I'm gonna have to get a ride out there, though. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Because until my narcolepsy shit straighten, I should not drive. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, that's no good. <sighs> How have you been, Martin? Martin, have you ever, Martin, would you, uh, have you ever bought tampons and would you buy me tampons if I really needed them? I think Martin would buy tampons. He's that kind of guy. Guys, everyone else who's joining us, I wanna know, should men buy tampons, you know? Should they not? Is it the girl's problem? Or is it a nice thing to do? That might be easier. Yeah, that might be a little bit easier. We'll see what's up. 
And if I give my mom enough of a head to notice, maybe we can get a sitter. Oh, geez, Joe. Well, there's lots of ways to make money as a streamer. There are promotion, or there's endorsements that you can get. You can get sponsors. Uh, people can donate. Hello, Streamlabs is working. And also, uh, well, Streamlabs, if, depending where you are, there's the Streamlabs address right there. When you donate, a comment will show up. So that's cool. And also, uh, through DLive, they use, um, oh my god, what is it called? Ah, I can't, I forget what it's called. I did hear that. Yes, I'd heard about that. Um, I wish them well and I hope they're happy. You know, sometimes things don't work out. Um, does, did he ever buy her tampons? No, he, he would buy me tampons. He would buy me tampons. So, you know. But I'm not here to like start drama or, you know. All right, since you guys are not really helping me. <laughs> Um, I don't have just eight viewers, Joe. We're actually live on seven different platforms right now. So thank you for that. Mm. Mm -mm. And there's other stuff in the works too. So, you know. Oh my gosh, my root beer just disappeared. Okay. I don't, I, I don't wanna have to stop the show because my root beer disappeared, but we might. We might actually do that. Um, guys, I don't have an earpiece in, so let me know um, if the sound is okay. I'm unable to hear my real-time uh, feedback. Of Thank you, Chris. Um, yeah, so let me know if you guys are happy with the sound. Let me know. Um, how did you know, Joe? I just applied yesterday. I just applied yesterday. And at the interview, they said, what is your worst quality? And I said that I try I, because I, I work so hard. And then they hired me right on the spot. So, you know, um, and, and it made it was an economical choice because um, I don't know how long you've been following Joe, um, but Alistair loves McDonald's. Like we we go there all the time, and it just seemed like more cost efficient, you know. So they're actually just going to pay us in meals for him. So great choice. You can't troll me if it doesn't bother me, Joe. Um, I'm going to suggest you try again. All right, so thank you guys for participating in the topic of the night. Should guys buy tampons? Have you bought tampons? Um, there's no wrong answer here. Oh, you're here for honest chat. Um, well, it's not what makes me endure it. I'm not like a masochist or anything like that. It's just it comes with the territory. Um, when you're a streamer, a performer, um, you have any type of social media life where it's like really for promoting yourself and your talents, you put yourself out there to be scrutinized. So uh, usually, hopefully, over time you get used to that and it doesn't sting as much. What I've learned to do, well, um, yeah, they're reading glasses. Um, I need them for far away too, I actually have contacts in, but this is so I can read the comments and I don't have to keep going like this. <laughs> um, what's worked for me, and I don't mind sharing my troll tips, um, for anyone who wants to do this, but they're having trouble with the negativity or it makes them like rage quit and all that, um, I just own the trolls. <laughs> Like, um, and when I say own the trolls, I don't mean like troll back and, you know, participate in their bullying. What I do is whatever thing they're claiming of me, I will just run with it and I will just have like a whole storyline that supports the rumor or the whatever, the fake news. And then they're like, Ugh. and then they're, see Joe's bored. Jo Joe, Joe has nothing else to say because everything he had, I'm like, oh my God, you're, I totally just did that, you know? So when you do that, it basically de, um, it, it, get, it takes their power away because they want you to be hurt or they want you to get sad or they want you to get upset. Um, they want your attention mostly. And I will give them my, a little bit of attention because you know what? Um, uh, I, I am not, um, but we love everyone here, Chris, so no worries. I don't, I'm not on the RV trip. They would have to pay me so, if they paid me a ton of money, I would do it, but that's the only way I would do it. Um, guys, I'm living a scuffed free lifestyle now. So um, back onto the topic of the night. Oh, um, remember anyone on Snap, there's a secret game we're playing tonight. Only my Snapchat people. And if you want to get in on the action, the Snapchat, the icons up there, whoop, wait there. 
There we go. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> um, t at TMB official. No, it's, yeah, it's okay if you're scuffed. I'm trying to live like a scuffed free lifestyle, but we are also scuffed friendly. We're not anti scuffed. Um, I'm just saying if that were to happen, it would be very expensive for them. So get on Snapchat, TMB official, if you want to find out what game we are secretly playing. By the way, it is so freaking hot in here. All right, so. And I'm actually, I'm really thirsty, so give me a sec. And we're gonna see what Facebook had to say about this topic. All right. We are not yet sponsored by root beer of any, um, of any kind. We're not, here, we'll do this. All right, we're not brand specific, but we are big root beer drinkers over at the show. And I say show because, you know, we got a couple people working on this. This doesn't just happen, all right? Do, do you know how long it took to figure out how to get the chat all like that from like seven different places? Um, guys, we're, uh, let me know where you're coming from, where you're viewing from, if you're a first time viewer, um, long time viewer. Uh, if you are not a viewer, if you're AI also, we could, uh, we could do a roll call. See, that's kind of why I'm doing it this way because uh, we're not viewbotting. We don't do that. Um, not all of the uh, live numbers I'm able to get up on here, like Vaughn Live's not on there. I'm sorry. I don't know if Vaughn is uh, showing up in chat, by the way. I may, might pull that up. But we only have viewer counts for three out of seven platforms, which we're actually live on right now. Let's get into the topic. All right, ladies, if your man won't get you tampons, what do you do? Um, Jersey first time, well thank you Jersey Rick. Everyone give Jersey a warm welcome. Jersey Rick, have you ever bought tampons for a woman? This is real, we are totally real, welcome, we are live. Okay, I want. we're talking about men buying tampons for uh, late women, but you know guys, you, there, you could have a horrible nosebleed, like really, really bad. Like maybe you were on the RV trip. If you're actually anyone who's doing the RV trips, uh, scuffed people, there's going to be nosebleeds, and you know why. Get tampons, all right? There's going to be one girl that you're going to troll off within the first day, and then some of you are going to get nosebleeds, and you know, you're going to need these. These are really good for that. Um, but aside from that. Uh, oh, and then anyone have endometriosis? Okay, I added the endometriosis part on here because um, it's a condition that makes you have really horrible cramps. So you're basically immobilized. It, it has like a spectrum of, of severity and stages and stuff, and it requires surgery every few years, and then it just comes back and it's like a monster. I personally have it, um, and I included that in my question because I'm not lazy. I'm not like you know, trying to make a point. It's not a power play. Um, it's just sometimes I ran out, I didn't stock up, and I'm like dying, you know? So like, are you gonna like help a girl out? Or are you gonna be like, no, I don't wanna buy tampons. That's embarrassing. All right, embarrassing, that's fine, that's fine. But you know what, Rick? The fact that you still bought them for her, I applaud. And I think that's a beautiful thing, everyone. Be sure to give a, put a one in the chat if you support Rick. Um, that's, you know, I'm gonna tell you this, you guys feel embarrassed, but cashiers are ringing up so much stuff every single day, they're not even paying attention. You know, now, um, what's, what's gonna be more, what would like get my attention is if someone bought like a shovel and rope and trash bags and zip ties and, and uh, maybe like duct tape, I might be like a little judgy if I was ringing someone up. But I'm not gonna say anything about like tampons or condoms or other things for places, for holes. You know, that's, who cares, you know? Um, we're gonna, like, I think a cashier would notice more if like you were, uh, like the more uncomfortable you are, it's, it's more, it's only as awkward as you make it. Like you don't have to explain to them who the tampons are for. Um, you never owe any cashier any explanation for any of your purchases, unless like I said, you're buying uh, the uh, murder kit, you know, then they're gonna be like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, KCIN, see? All right, a hand for you, that's amazing, that's amazing. See, yeah, you know, you get over it. I know like younger guys, like high school, oh God, I don't think any of my high school boyfriends would have ever bought me tampons, like probably not even once. And they'd be like grossed out. If I'm like, I'm on my period, they'd be like, ugh, gross. Well, I'm not pregnant, duh. Celebrate periods, guys. That, I'm telling you, 
tampons are cheaper than diapers. A lot cheaper. A lot cheaper. And that tampons don't cry. And they don't really, well, they could smell bad, but okay. We're getting too off topic. Okay, so we got 45 comments on this. Ooh, uh, we got about 45 comments on this. So let's see. Uh, okay, why is this archiving? Okay, let's, mm, hold on. All right. Okay, now it's in French. It's in French for some reason, but that's okay. Uh, I guess, okay, hold on. Allie Burnell says, because I'm not, there, there's no man that denied me tampons for the record. It's, I'm just wondering if a guy would buy me tampons. I'm actually out, by the way, so if anyone wants to run to the store and maybe like Reddit, or not Reddit, why am I thinking of Reddit? Maybe like Amazon, like drone me a box right now because I'm going to be screwed in like seven hours. Like this is only good for that. Um, all right, so get a new man, says Ellie Burnell. Uh, my boyfriend has bought me everything ever needed while going through my time of the month, and he's never complained. I love that, Ellie. You buy magnets with him, yes. You know what, you can reclaim, if you are so uncomfortable with the fact that your girl's not pregnant, unless you're trying to have a baby, that might be upsetting. Um, re redeem yourself as a man and be like, yeah, I'm gonna buy condoms and I'm gonna, I'm gonna smash too. I suggest, however, if it's that time to put a towel down, you know, unless you're into painting, parting the Red Sea. Oh, oh my goodness, guys. Ugh. Oh, I try to avoid this stuff and, you know, <laughs> it's hot. All right, guys, if you're playing along, snapped, if you want to find out, there's a secret game we're actually playing. Um, if, but you might pick up on it if you're keen. Um, <laughs> we're playing a secret game. Every time I complain about being hot, there is something to do. So I am hot. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mary says, um, then he doesn't care enough about you. A real, notice real is in all capital. Man, it doesn't have a problem with it, hon. All right. And uh, now one, the only person who fought me and I ended up turning, I ended up overturning his initial uh, comments was uh, a friend and he and I have many, many bonds. Hello, Troll Patrol. Hi, video game guru. Um, okay, so a uh, friend of mine, I think I may have to turn my music down just a little bit. A little bit, sorry. Um, guys, I don't have an in-ear audio. I, I don't have an in-ear piece, so I'm not actually sure how my sound is, which is really bad, but um, we'll get there. I need donations. We do. You, there's Streamlabs and then DLive, uh, why can't I fucking remember what DLive's thing is to, we, I have the lemon grill already too, by the way, okay? Oh wait, we are not sponsored by Sunkiss, so hold on. But Sunkiss, we, we will accept offers. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, so, you know, keep, keep it coming. This is not pre-recorded video game guru, I see you, no. I, I keep shouting you out. You know what? I forget. I think you're on, uh, are you on YouTube, honey, or are you on um, Facebook? I know a couple of these platforms have a little bit of a delay, and for that, I apologize. Um, I don't see anything from DLive yet. I'm actually wondering if my chat is hidden. Um, give me a second to check that. It took a while to figure out all the coding to get all the chat from all seven places in line. Um, okay, I wish them well, guys. I, we're, I'm talking about tampons, all right? Lauren, do you need a tampon? So, will somebody buy Lauren tampons? Oh my goodness, look, 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 guys. All right, if you guys donate $500, I will call him right now. You can use Streamlabs. Okay, thank you for that. All right, so I just got an update on, um, how we're doing. So uh, guys, let me know where you're viewing from. We are using a, am, am I a feminist? Uh, not entirely because there is still some like, okay, here's, here's what I'll say. The reason I can't call myself a full blown feminist, and I, I can see how you could ask that because this is a tampon thing, is because I am a shit cook. I'm a terrible cook. I can't, I will burn toast. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that I'm just not good at cooking, okay? That is, I cannot bring that to the table. Now, in a relationship situation, um, I can clean, I'm nice, I'm reasonable, I, I, I'm very agreeable, and uh, I adapt a lot, um, but I, I can't cook for shit. 
you know? So I feel like since that's a skill I lack, which is traditionally a woman's job, right? Fuck that noise. Um, I will just be like, I'll do a lot of cleaning and you know, you can cook or whatever. And you know, guys like try to teach me to cook. And what usually ends up happening is um, in situations where I'm with somebody, I clean and, and then they, they just cook. Or you know, so, and it, it evens out that way. Um, now I wouldn't mind, like, it would be nice if guys helped a lot, but it, it just depends on the dynamics. Like, I feel like there should be equal efforts in all of the relationship that you put towards it. All right, we got some comments. Oh my goodness. Um, Tyler, no, I was not beaten for to over toast. No. I'm a little triggered because I am a domestic violence survivor, but um, I was never beaten by over toast by um, that person. <laughs> Um, is Nelly on the spectrum? Yes. <laughs> that is a great question. That is a great question. Um, oh, you guys. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry to hear that the anxiety is, is, uh, is not good. Um, all right, all right, we're getting off topic. Um, I, I'm gonna respond to the comments that I, I feel like giving energy to. Uh, let's see. All right. Um, oh, I was going to tell you the only person who really objected and I overturned his, his uh, ideals um, was my friend uh, Aaron. Don't harass him. I'm like, don't harass him as we pull up his comment. Um, he and I are trauma survivors of RT. Uh, we survived a very interesting situation, living dynamics, and. Um, we're buddies, right? And he's like, oh, hell no, get her own tampons, independent woman. And I'm like, wait a minute, you are gay. You love everything about women except our vaginas. So obviously you're not going to buy tampons and that's fine. But I told him, hey, Aaron, and I'm trying to pull up the, con actually here, I guess I gotta do this. Like we can go to, it. Uh, there we go. Wait, wait, no, I don't wanna open the link. Okay, uh, all right, oh, here's the top of it though. Well, anyways, he basically, I, I guilt tripped him because I do recall one in one occasion where he was doing headshots and he really didn't know what to wear and he was really stressed out about it. And I'm like, you are not gonna buy your straight, well, straightish, uh, BFF um, tampons when I spent that whole night with you going through all your shirts, finding the perfect one for your, we lost our camera. I, I'm finding the perfect one, perfect shirt for headshots, he's an actor. You know, guys, I keep hearing all these rumors about this scuffed RV trip. I am trying to live a scuffed free life at the moment, but if, if the money's right, I'm good video game. Thank you, honey. How are you? Um, if the money's right, the money's right. Okay. So tell, tell them, but I'm going to need that money up front. I'm not going to do anything on the back end. I'm going to need, oh goodness. All right. There's a lot of rumors that we'll get to at another time. We are talking about tampons. Girl power. I look like a, um, who, who is this? Um, Hecate, shout out to my mom. Okay. <laughs> I'll get donations for it. Da, 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 da. Oh. They do want me for free content. See, and that's what sucks. Like the prison stream, I had heard about it. Like, well, I heard about it, but I ignored everyone because me and uh, SJC had so much stuff going on that I wanted it, I, I didn't want to feed into it anymore. So all my mutual friends are like, oh my God, I've been talking about you for days on this freaking gel stream. And I'm like, whatever. And then eventually I get curious because nonstop so many people, I check it out and it was kind of ridiculous. And I'm like, damn, like why couldn't they throw up like a photo or a link at some point, you know? Um, okay, Jay, uh, Jay Ben, okay, you want to tell us about, yeah, you know, there, there are some, uh, studies that suggest there are better quality tampons than others. Um, if you're a man that will get your woman like natural tampons, like you're, slide into my DM. Um, there's also, see, well, that's, I'm not trying to do any gossip. Do, I'm not trying to do any gossip. Do you guys know the word gossip actually has like religious um, and uh, coming, uh, religious and birthright or origins? It was when a child was born, uh, people would, find out if it was a boy or not. That's actually what gossip comes from. So. You know, you, okay, you get, toxic shock syndrome is real. It definitely is. And there's many causes of it. Um, sometimes you, can have, you, you could have used it properly 
and you just get it. And but it it's more often than not going to occur when you leave it in too long and it starts to decompose. <clears throat> Red wings. Okay, guys, we were talking about that a little earlier. That I, I'm, I'm more of a throw a towel down girl. And I would have had to have known the person <clears throat> a while to be comfortable with that. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. You guys are funny. All right. Well, let's get back to this. So, uh, okay. Uh, Jessica says, that would be, uh, wouldn't be with that man uh, that wouldn't give me tampons, to be honest. That is a deal breaker. Ooh. Do you hear that, guys? She's saying it's a deal breaker like like break up over, over them you know where can you dm me um you can get it on me on facebook uh snapchat i don't know if you have me on snapchat um uh guru we are playing a game there's a secret game we're playing during this stream and only my snapchat followers know what the game is by the way i'm hot <clears throat> i'm super hot and actually i have to participate in the game if you pay enough attention you might figure it out All right, I feel like we're still PG-13 rated. A little bit. Okay, uh, QA, on, well that's fine, that's fine. So, that's what I wanna discuss. Um, okay, uh, Christina says that's a no-go for me if he can't do something as simple as that. Okay, awesome, it's, good. it's really great to hear from you. I'm so glad you stopped by. Now Marissa says, shout out to Marissa. You can give her a little bit of shit because she trolled me for a long time, but not too much because I love her. And she's going through a hard time. So if you troll her, have fun with it. Don't be cruel. Um, she said he would buy the wrong shit. Okay, fair enough. Now I go, haha, true, but what if you were so desperate any would do? Would you, and I tag someone that knows her, buy her some if she asked, and yes, he would. All right, so we're getting an overwhelming... Um, response from both guys and the women on here is saying that yeah it's not um i did either it's a deal breaker for the women and some of the guys are saying it's not a big deal um sam samuel hoy um and be sure to add him he's uh you can see his comment right here he's um he's a streamer as well uh don't see the big deal for a man to go down the aisle honestly what are they scared of Ooh! so instead of thinking your manhood is being tested at the checkout aisle your manhood is being tested by a scared, uh, scared Sarah's I mean, they're not gonna hurt you. This means she's not pregnant, okay? It means she's not pregnant. Eat a cheese sandwich, you know what? I have, uh, cheese I think makes my eczema worse. I think it makes my eczema really bad. Uh, is it, thank you for trying that. I don't know if the Discord link is working. Okay, I just want to know, uh, well, I addressed the question initially to women about, you know, what would they do if their guy won't buy them tampons, but I want to know, how, how, do you guys, how do you men feel about buying tampons? Um, SJC does buy tampons, yes, he does, he does. By the way, um, fun thing, in uh, it was in development, and I think now it's uh, commercially available, there's a couple lines that do it. Uh, there's, they're now infusing tampons with cannabinoids. Marijuana, yes. So they're really good for cramps, apparently. I have not tried them. If anyone wants to send me some, um, I, would not I would not recommend smoking it, though. Definitely don't do that. You feel okay? Well, that's awesome. I'm so, I'm, I'm, see, I'm glad to hear that. And I'm here to tell you guys, and this is not a feminist thing. Um, when we ask you, I, I mean, I could see how some girls, like, if she's already ball busting, emasculating, okay, fine, you can be offended by that. But most of the time, if a girl asks you, it's because she's in hurt, uh, she's in pain. Um, no, Jose, I am not try hard. Thank you so much for asking. Thank you for your concern. <clears throat> you fuse tampons. Uh, see, trippy. That's great. Um, I would say that's kind of like the opposite, you know. And also, um, you. It, it's a rare a rarity, but generally you don't get pregnant on your period, but I'm not going to say that it's not possible. Okay, oh my God, hillbilly redneck. I am so glad you brought those up. Those are the most disgusting things ever invented. Now, here's the one thing that's okay about them. You can leave them in for quite a while, and you don't have to worry about them decomposing as you would with tampons and toxic shock. I've used those a couple times, and uh, they feel really strange, and apparently you can... Um, uh, express your love physically wearing them. 
Uh, gross. Gross because if it slips out, you get a whole. <gasps> ah! Yes, subscriber! Yay! Subscribe! Okay. Guys, um, you can subscribe, and also Streamlabs is up there if you guys want to send me some love. Um, if, you're, if you have sent love and it's not showing, let me know. There's been some weird stuff with Streamlabs lately, and I don't know if um, it's a glitch or if it's me. I don't know if it's you or if it's me, but um, please let me know. Well, see, Jose, I'm trying to normalize it. I'm trying to make this not a big deal. I'm trying to make this like buying laundry detergent. Wait, no, you guys don't buy laundry detergent, probably. <laughs> Van Glow, that is not possible right now because I don't have a setup for that. I'm gonna need rear view monitor, or not, I'm gonna need monitors, I'm gonna need uh, headphones to mix, and it would, oh, thank you so much for the sub, that's amazing, Paul. Um, yeah, I, yeah we, we don't have the audio stuff set up so much, so it is possible eventually we can get back into doing that. And thank you for um, your support in that. Um, I will keep that in mind, one thing at a time. Uh, I kind of want to start doing regular things with topics and with uh, concepts and themes. Oh, you're so sweet. I am 5'7". I'm six feet tall. Wait, now I'm six feet tall. Ah! Oh no. Oh no, what did I do? Hold on. Oh my goodness. I just stood up, what did I do? Hold on. I stood up and now the screen went off. I don't think the stream went off though because I'm watching it on my phone. Let's see. Did I just kill it accidentally? Ah! All right, hold on guys. Literally, I do not know what happened. Okay, stand by. I don't know if we're still live or not. Uh, wait, hold on. I'm like, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna pull up anything else that we're on and see, because I don't know if I'm still live and we may have to go to a quick uh, AFK because this is not, I don't know what happened. Ooh, that I don't see. How did I do that? Okay. Okay. Um. I think we're still live. Okay, so we're still live, but I lost the screen for some reason. Oh my God, I don't know what to do. All right. I need tech support. Okay. Oh my goodness. Um, you guys, uh, well, we're still live. Uh, actually, uh, we have a special guest uh, while we're figuring out what I did. Um, uh, would you like to come to the show, sir? Hello. We have a very special guest. Hey, little one. Hi. You wanted the stroller? This is a, do you want to say hi? So um, I have a story about my shirt I'm wearing. And this is actually a, a child's shirt. We actually wear the same hey, size. Mommy. Hi, honey. Um, it's way super, it's super duper past your bedtime, by the way. Um, but yeah, so I saw this shirt at the store and I thought it was really cool. I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, I want one too. And makeup. I know, that I love my makeups. Do you love my makeup? Well, we're not gonna play makeup right now. Does mommy look pretty today? Yes. <gasps> mommy looks pretty today? Yes. Oh, thank you. I may have to step out, uh, out of frame for just a second here to change him and put him back to bed. But um, yeah, so I saw this shirt that I was wearing. It was in a little boy's section. Um, they fit me tighter, okay? and. Uh, so I, I got it, and we're, we're matching. And I, it, made, it made me think of, like, he's, he'll be starting preschool probably soon. Um, but I was thinking maybe his first day of school, like, we should just always be matching. Wouldn't that be adorable? Should we do it? No, you can't, this, you can't eat the lavalier. I definitely did not recommend that. Who's this? It's a lavalier. Oh, this is a lavalier, but who is this? It's a lavalier. No, no, no. What's your name? <laughs> All right, thank you, Alistair. Um, Blanky on deck. Uh, Blanky is also another special guest. Um, where go Blanky? It's a hat? Um, okay, uh, oh, are you doing wardrobe today too? Thank you. I, you guys, what do you think? Okay, he's got other hats. Oh, oh, how adorable. Many, many hats. Many, many hats. All right. Um, I still can't see the chat, guys. My, uh... 
my screen uh, kind of went out. So we're trying to figure that out. So stand by. I'm sorry I cannot read your comments right now. By the way, I'm hot. Um, he's sitting in his stroller. He wants to go for a walk. I think it's a little late for a walk right now, though. It's a little, it's a little late for a walk. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming to the show, Alexander. You know we love to have you anytime. That was Alistair. All right. Okay, we're back. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Um, it, it, it's Silas. Um, I don't know if you guys ever saw the show Weeds, but her cute older son, uh, his name is Silas, and I just thought that name was adorable. It's spelled S-I-L-S, -S, and um, my dad, like, I remember when they heard the name I picked for him, they were like, he thought it, I named him Cyrus, like Billy Cyrus. He's like, oh, that's kind of a hillbilly name. I'm like, I'm like, uh, no, it's Silas. It's Latin. But everyone, thank you, Sandy. Everyone thought it was uh, Cyrus, but it's actually Silas. It's Silas. How are you doing, Sandy? Um, Paul, I'm going to pass, unless the money's right. You know me. Okay, guys, so today... Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, I, I made such a, woo, woo, woo. I, I messed up big time. Okay, um, yeah, there's a certain person that we can't have. Okay, all right, so, uh, Alec, okay guys, we're talking about the tampon situation again. And this, this is a man, by the way. Uh, Alex says, anyone who won't get you tampons is not a man. Hi, honey, oh, you want me to fix your tablet? You actually need to go back to bed. Oh, I don't know if his tablet's dead. He, this, this leap pad thing is, is pretty legit. And ever since he kind of figured out his way around it, um, it's, you know, it's been very helpful. It does not come in men's sizes. No, this is, this is children's only. Um, but him and I wear the same size and, you know, we're matching. And I was like, oh, I was so stoked about it. All right, hi, honey. Welcome back to the show. I think we gotta charge your tablet, but you actually should go back to bed. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right, we got to do the lemon girl. Ah, oh my God, that, that freaking meme. Or not meme, that's a gif. Okay, you guys want to know a story about that? I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Um, so the reason uh, or where that came from. Here's your tablet, honey, but really you got to go back to sleep. Alistair tablet. Uh... I was on um, another platform form, uh, called Battle Cam. That's actually where I know somebody in particular. Uh, and actually, we were, we were at his place. We were both streaming. And someone was making fun of my teeth, which they are, they are kind of large. I get that, especially the top ones. Um, they're uh, bold. And they were saying I had horse teeth, which is not very nice. Um, so I responded with, I'm going to bite you. And like, like I said, I own everything someone tries to troll me with, I will just own it and embrace it and, and, and even embellish and like create a whole lifestyle plot around it. So, and that just kind of derails the trolls a little bit. So that's what that is about. So thank you so much. Thank you for that donation. That uh, we are a little bit closer to production lights. As you guys know, I've bought like three sets now and uh, I keep, they keep breaking in, in moves. Uh, the the the, bul the bulbs, excuse me, um, they're spiral bulbs. They're it's a special kind of bulb, and um, you know they're just not meant to be thrown or kicked down or tipped over. The reason they tend to break though is I don't always have sandbags, so I'm gonna um, probably steal some sand from the beach. No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> I think it is beach sand. Um, no, I, I can buy real ones, but um, yeah, sandbags keep your production lights because they're always on a tripod so you can adjust, you know, the height and stuff. Uh, but without your sandbags, they just fall over, you know. If she's lurking, that's fine. Hi, Lauren. How are you doing, honey? I think uh, I hear you're a gamer and I think you're adorable. I have nothing bad to say about you. It's all love here. And um, I hope you're doing well. So, um, no, I'm, look, look, look. No, we, we don't need to fight, okay? There's room for everybody. And you know, we we ha we shared somebody in a way. We are. Um, is it? What are they, I know they call it Eskimo brothers, but what do they call? It? What is it for girls? What is that called? Lauren, let's figure out a name for something. I want something positive. 
Um, or could we like, or maybe like, I don't know, but I, I, there probably is a term for that. Can someone like a, a, a Urban Dictionary it or something? No, she is. I heard she's a gamer. I heard she's really good. The only game I'm decent at is uh, Mortal Kombat, and I just go like I I remember I remember the combinations and stuff. Uh, but sometimes it's just like beautiful spazzing at the right times. Um, but I, I'm not going to lie. Ah, yay, we got $5. And a little. Mm. Let me gang all day. Let me gang all day. All right, thank you so much for that. Guys, the $5, it all counts. And guys, you can use Streamlabs to donate. Um, no, see, it doesn't. Okay, we don't need a name specific to 1X because I feel like maybe, maybe me and Lauren are connected in a past life and maybe there's other guys for us to share in the future. Just kidding. No, I want to know what is the name for, like they call, es they call it Eskimo Brothers, when two men have shared a woman. What is the term for, for girls? What is the term for girls? It's not thoughts because that's too general. Um, I mean, it could be. But uh, no, 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 because that's it's, no, that's it's not. What is the specific name for it? Big, big yikes. Oh, oh, just in general. I'm not going to fight anybody. Hey, guess what? On record. OK, we're on seven different platforms right now. Shout out to everybody. I will not town bicycles. Oh, that's funny because everybody gets a ride. Um, I will not fight a woman ever for a guy if it comes to the sister. Oh, God, no. No, it has to be something sisters. There, there has to be some, because Eskimo, you know, they rub nose, whatever. I just got that. Just kidding. No, but what is it for girls? Um, back to, okay, that name doesn't work. Okay, Scissor Sisters is more of the lesbian persuasion. We're talking about two girls who shared a men. Now, if we're lesbian or bi beyond that, that is neither, that, that is neither here nor there. Polar bears. <laughs> that works. How about Sandwich Sisters? Sandwich Sisters. No? I, I don't even like that. What's, can someone please, like, um, what do you call it? Uh, Urban Dictionary? Let's get back to some of these comments. Um, or I, I think I gotta be careful because I, there's somebody on here I can't show. Let's see what else other people said. Um, wait, we don't wanna lose it. Mm. How, why is this not scrolling? Okay, I have the window locked. Oh, yeah, Gucci's. Get her up in here. So, well, I think me and Gucci's are cool now because I from she was set up with my um, my backup account at one point when she first started and she was saying some not so positive things and then because she and I share a moderator who is like the ultimate moderator and I said, hey, you got to tell her what's up because I built that foundation there. So if she's gonna use my, her Streamlabs has my name in it, <laughs> okay? So like really, her Streamlabs is something TMB unless she's changed it from that channel. Um, so yeah, uh, she, she's, we've not, we've not since had any problems. I'm on her Discord, but I'm not like active in it. Um, uh, Marshall, no, I am not. I actually gave birth to a child naturally, like f from myself. Uh, Okay, um, but you know what? Let me tell you what's not cool about that comment, Marshall. I'm not personally triggered by it, but let me tell you why it's not okay to say. For anyone who cares. Well, no, I have nothing against Gochis, but I'm like, if you're using my, you got my name attached to you, like, be nice, you know? Um, see, I don't know why women, why we're so catty to each other when, you know, we, we shouldn't see each other as competition unless you're actively fighting over a guy. That's what I was talking about. I will not fight another guy or another girl over a guy. If a guy's cheating on me or if a guy's two-timing me or something and I feel like I'm not, I'm, I'm just going to let her have him, you know, like I'm not going to fight you unless it's like, you know, some bazillionaire who left me everything and, or yeah, I don't know. I'm, no, I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to fight you because like, here's the thing, like, okay, so I've, this has never happened to me. But there, here's a scenario which does sadly happen to some people. You catch somebody cheating on you, like you catch them in the act. I would not fight the girl because I don't know the circumstances. She could have been lied to um, or um, 
you, you know, maybe the whole thing was, uh, maybe she was made to believe. Thank you for the follow, yay, or the sub, yay. Um, we don't know what the guy, in the hypothetical guy told the person. So I'm not gonna just react. I mean, I'm not gonna love it. You know, I'd be like, oh, okay. I would just walk, I would honestly walk out and not try to show a whole lot of emotion. And then I would just dip. Because, you know, if the girl knew about the guy, it doesn't change it for me either. Because, okay, well, then if he was, you know, if you persuade him to sway, to, to sway, then it's, you know, he may do that again. So, I do not think uh, sociopath, no. I have already done my pathology on him. I suggest you check out the rest of my YouTube videos on that. Oh my goodness, See, Lauren, honey, if you're here, because people were saying Lauren is lurking. Lauren, honey, if you're here, I'm not gonna fight you. I'm, on, I'm not gonna fight you. I have nothing against you. Um, I hope you're okay. Um, I, I have no ill feelings towards you. I really don't. So if she's here, um, on the record, I honestly, you're, we're fine. We, there's no reason for me to be angry at you. Um, and if she's not here, if you guys wanna go ahead and clip this and relay the message to let her know that I, I have no hard feelings, I have no desire to fight her, I'm not angry at her. Right, okay, see, and that's kind of like a vicious cycle, so we don't need to participate in all that. No, people, there's a lot of rumors about me going in the, oh, is, okay. Oh, you are here. Oh, I see you. Oh, hi, honey. Okay, so you're here. No, honey, that's just rumors. I don't know. Um, there was a couple things I was supposed to be involved in, and it got weird, so I don't know. If the money's right, I'll go. I mean, that would be content, um, but I would have to have a serious, serious uh, attitude adjustment with uh, ICE. Who is it ICE's RV thing again? Whose RV? Is it someone else's RV? I don't even know. I'm a little out of the CX mix. I'm trying to live a scuffed-free lifestyle. I'm in scuffed recovery. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't have anything wrong with her. Like, there's, I have nothing, there's no ill feelings towards Lauren. And Lauren, um, don't let him put ideas in your head. Don't let the chat put ideas in your head. Um, don't let, SJC say I'm mad at you to try to like get you back like because I'm gonna tell you right now You're here on the record. I think you're cool, and I have nothing against you And the only reason I know about you is because people are so fascinated with a breakup I had publicly that like I'm getting a play-by-play -play, um, <laughs> Of anything that he's doing even though I'm not asking for it, you know Thank you, Kate, Kate. Okay, support Tracy and Lauren. Yes, there's room for everybody and it's not, well, again, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to call, I don't want to name call. I don't want to put people down. Um, I just hope that everyone does their thing and everyone's happy and we just live our lives. It's, life's too short to feed into all this drama unless there's um, something to come of that. You know, if you're going to use drama for clout, have the whole thing planned out. <clears throat> because if you're gonna let your emotions get involved and you're using numbers as power like you just just know what you're getting into you know um, thumbs up thank you uh, yeah, yeah it's a little annoying I'm not gonna lie I would like to someday not be just from the jump Tracy Marie Breyer or Tracy Marie Breyer or Tracy Marie so and so's ex Breyer. Like, no, that doesn't need to be like initially like what I'm associated as, you know. So it's all good, but uh, it, you know, whatever. We share, we do share a bit of an audience, and even prior to CX, we had we shared an audience as well because we met on Battle Cam. We might be great roommates, but I don't know how she feels about kids. Allie cries a lot. So I just had to move out of my roommate situation, which was really strange because I lived with a married couple. And you would think that like a married couple with a, with a child, I'm sorry, with a small child. I forgot to add that to the story. But their baby's only one. And let me tell you, Alistair was an angel, like slept all the time. Like people were annoyed. They would wake him up to play with him because uh, he slept so much and he was a preemie though so that's kind of typical for preemies to sleep a lot to make up for when they should still be cooking <laughs> um, yeah so 
but he, he is no longer quiet. He is very loud. Thank you, Diva Boy. Oh, hey, Diva Boy. Hey, hey, hey. We are teaming up. See, this, this is beautiful because like, you guys, like, well, okay, not all of chat's toxic, not all of CX toxic. Some of you guys are really cool, but some people are for the drama. And Lauren, um, you've, as you've probably learned, you know, don't let, them bait, don't let them bait you, don't let them set you up, and don't believe everything you hear. People are going to literally come in here right now, and they're going to say things to try to trigger us or to try to change... Um, to, you know, to try to like make, make stuff happen. To it. Like they want us to fight so badly. They want me to be yelling at you. And, but we're not gonna do that because there's no reason to. So just remember that, Lauren. Um, like I said, I, I, I see some stuff because people like, here, look at this. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Like I just want people to be happy. And you do seem like a really cool chick. So, you know, I do know um, in Arizona rent is cheap. I do know that. My, one of my exes tried to move me back there. Hey, hey, guys, quit, quit, take, quit taking this out of context, all right? You guys are getting so out of pocket. <laughs> oh, oh my God, we're literally getting a call. Um, I know who this person is calling, and it might be content to take it. I just don't know that we want to do it. Because here's the thing. Um, sometimes relationships work out, sometimes they don't. Um, when they don't work out, it doesn't mean you have to keep the cameras on. And I've made that mistake in the past. Uh, well, it was a block number, but I, I yeah, we got a block number calling. Um, you know, not everything. If you guys, okay, if you guys send me $150 right now, I will take the call. Because I need production lights. So send me the money and I will take the call. All right, that's a good deal. That's a good deal. Well, that's why, see, I don't want him to ruin the stream. That's why I am charging for the phone call. Okay. Oh, we got a lemon. Oh yeah, lemon gang all day. Hey, who are you one? Mm. Mm. Well, if you guys all threw a dollar, cause we're on seven platforms right now. Yes, it is a very expensive phone call. Because here's the thing. Um, well here, look, I'm not here to team people against each other. Um, I, I want to support the streamers. But if y'all threw a dollar, because we're on seven platforms, we only have counters for three of the seven. Some of them, there's not a widget to, for that. I'm, I don't know if I can make one, um, but we only have counters for three. Um, I don't know that we, oh, we lost the camera. So stand by guys, uh, I, we have two cameras. I think we got to change a battery. I don't know that uh, we, because we got to be careful with the voice. We don't want to, we don't want to have any issues. Um, I'll take the call out of frame for 150. I will take the call live for 300. So start throwing money. This is like an 800 number, right? This is going to cause a lot of stress for me. Um, and yeah, so if we're, if we're going to do that, this is how we do it. <laughs> Leech Nation, no, 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 no. Look, here's the thing. Um, about the, the leech idea. I feel like if you have something to bring, lights, no, I don't have an, all my lights broke during my move. I have one production light. I can't, well, I'm just saying that, that's, the, that's the offer. I can't even do a green screen because I can't light three dimensionally. I have one light, that's it. I have one light. And I do a pre-show on an app while I do my makeup and get ready and talk about what I'm gonna do. Yay, we got a lemon! Thank you, Lemon Gang. Uh, mm -hmm. mm. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys, um, if you want to fund the call, um, I can do that out of frame. Okay, see, Tony, here's the thing. Um, I don't just do streams, we also do video production stuff, and you need lights. Like, this is actually not lit, I, uh, pro I mean, it's, I'm hot, by the way. Hold on. Anyway, if you guys are on my Snapchat, we're playing a secret game. You have to get on my Snap. If you go on my Snap and see the feed, you'll know what game we're playing. Um, I'm hot. Oh, that's two. All right, hold on. I have to participate. One second.
All right. All right, I just got a message from a, my, my management team here. They're saying, throw, throw the love and I'll take the call, but I'm gonna take it out of frame because there's probably something, there's probably some things that, need to, that could be said that are more private matter. Okay, more cleavage. You know what, if you guys, if, if you can get me to 60 at least, I will we'll make some cleavage happen. Um, but the, normally, uh, I've had some nips, uh, nip slip incidences, wardrobe malfunctions. So I tried to keep it clean cut today. Mm. Yay, we got a lemon! Lemon gang. Mmm. All right, see, here's the thing. Yes, Fat Dave is, uh, me and Fat Dave are having a baby. We are having a baby. <laughs> Th be see, Be Nice knows what's up. Thank you. This is a pattern here, okay? Um, Mod Liddy Lauren. Uh, I'm, you know, I'd have to do it from Facebook. Um, Lauren, honey, get on my Discord if you want. And if we team up, honey, um, I don't want this to be like a smear campaign against anyone. I think we should just, you know, bring our skills together and just do us. We don't need to be known as someone's, you know, relationship that didn't work out. We are of individual people. Oh, man. Yes, I'm living in a car that also has a production studio with six screens, uh, two cameras, and, and a light. We need more production lights, though, guys. <laughs> uh, but I am, no, that's not true though. Well then how, if I'm living in a car, how the hell am I streaming like this right now? Facts. Um, no, that I don't want to do a smear campaign against anybody. Guys, we're talking about tampons earlier. That's what we were trying to do. Well, you know, you could say that. All right, so, uh, Let's see. All right, there we go. All right. Uh, there's a couple of news stories I wanted to share. Oh, we got more lemons! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we chilling. All right. All right. All right, so an 11 year old boy makes bow ties for dogs to help him get adopted. You know what I love? I feel like it hasn't been until like the last couple generations, and I don't even think my generation did a good job about it because a lot of us are walking around very damaged. Like they're teaching, like kindness is now being taken like very seriously. It's like a, it's like a good thing. Um, I've, I definitely know older generations, like especially my dad. My dad is in his 70s. Kindness was mistaken for weakness, and it was something um, not freely given. Um, I think kindness is really important, and I think we could definitely use a lot more of it. Uh, I think this is great. 11-year-old boy makes uh, ties for dogs. Oh, all right, should we click on this story? Here we go. There's, okay. Decomposing bodies to solve cold case murderers. There is a body rotting farm, in, uh, I'm gonna guess in Florida. <laughs> I don't know if it's, if they just call it, what do they call it? There's like a, the swampy areas in Florida. Oh, thank you. We'll hit them up and let them know. All right, mentioned by tampons. We were talking about that earlier and a lot of us agreed um, that it's not a big deal. And um, you know, you're saying I'm so manly, I don't care. This means you're getting laid. Hello, I have a lady that I'm having in relations with and she's not pregnant. That's what this says when you ring this up. And that also says that you take care of her and she remembers that. And it's the emotional support that women really, really want and need more often than not. And when we get that, like we remember, you know? So if you're not, if they're, they're not comfortable with the towel down stuff, they will take care of you when they're feeling better. Trust me, trust me. This is not a power play to buy your girl tampons. Anyways, back to the story. Uh, let's see if I can move this a little bit. I can't believe it, but I want the best Oh wait, hold on, oh no. Oh no, what is happening? Oh my goodness, no, oh no, no, I don't want Geico. Oh my God, I still got trolled into a Geico ad. Thank you for the lemon, lemon girl. Okay. Mm. I don't know why um, the, the, the ViewBot stuff's not working. I may have to put that in. 
Mm -mm. Uh, oh, Aaron G, thank you, honey. Um, my main snap. Wait, there we go. Okay, hold on, it's opposite. Okay, wait, there we go. There we go, it's up there in the corner. Uh, TMB official, get on that and um, uh, you can get in for the premium. There's lots of prices. Thank you, Diva Boy, honey. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Paul. Um, I don't do cuddle party things. I've heard of it. But um, I, if you hit me up on my, on my snap, I will give you a very, I will put, give you half off of all the normal prices for a uh, premium if you're a vet. I always do that. Vets get half off. No, honey, they're actually not ViewBots. We're on seven different platforms right now. You can catch us on uh, DLive, VonLive, YouTube, Twitch, uh, um, Mixer. I'm forgetting a few. <laughs> These are great questions. Um, uh, if the the, the uh, questions that you guys are asking me, they're just like a little bit more um, private. Uh, we can you, we can take to those matters on Snap. Um, we're trying to keep this stream PG-13, family friendly, guys. Um, I am submitting for a bigger contract, so they need to see what I can do while I'm keeping it classy. Thank you, Paul, honey. Make sure to send me a message. Um, guys, wherever you're watching me from, get in the DM. Yay, we got a sub. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's get to this story. So decomposing bodies to solve cold case murders. The, oh, we got a lemon. I'm just keeping it in my mouth. All right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Intern, you are not a loser and you are not alone. We all go through phases in life in which we just feel like the people around us we don't connect to. And I want you to know that I think you're awesome and I'm so happy you tuned in today. Um, maybe you're bored. Maybe you're looking for meaning. I don't know your whole story. If you want to share with the chat, you can. If you want to DM me, you can also do that. Um, but don't, don't, don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Don't, don't be so hard on yourself. Okay, number of missing persons and unidentified remains in the United States have been called the nation's silent mass disaster by National Institute of Justice since 1980. There have been 250,000 recorded unsolved homicides from the United States due to lack of funding and support for forensics. Uh, forensic research and law enforcement training. The number continues to grow. Um, scientists at the Institute for Forensic Anthropology and Applied Sciences of the University of South Florida. I told, I called it, I said it was Florida. There is a dead body farm in which they watch um, the way bodies decompose to help solve cases. Oh, okay, you know what, I'm gonna add people. All right, we're gonna do a quick Snap ad. Snap, Snap. I also asked Snapchat about the tampon question. All right, you are on there, honey. Thank you, I, in turn, honestly, I really believe that too. Like last night I met a waitress and I wanted her to be my mommy BFF, but I was a little too thirsty, like I, Basically, Alistair was being uh, mostly well-behaved, but a little silly after she took our order. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, he's three. And she's like, oh, I have one too. I'm like, how old? She's like, three. I'm like, oh, tell me, what is the secret for potty training? Because it's not going so well with us. And she's like, I don't know. And she was literally like about to cry, telling me how she's on all these Facebook support groups. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm, we could figure it out together, you know? And then, thank you, Melissa, honey. And, they, and then I, I like palmed her, like my number, like she had to come to the table like three times. Like it wasn't busy, but she was busy. And it was like really cringe awkward. I don't know if she's going to be my mommy BFF. And I think if I go back to the restaurant, it might be a little weird. Um, so that was a fail. Uh, Google me, see what happens. I, I do think, I do think that there are lessons learned and not, not everything's random. Okay, let's get back to this. Uh, okay, I had to announce that it was Florida. Uh, oh, Florida, where does it say it's Florida? Okay, um, they're looking to change that through their work at uh, the USFC's facility and outdoor research and training 
on the body farm, gross, uh, scientists and law enforcement officials come together to exchange knowledge about how bodies decompose in Florida's subtropical -trop environment in the hopes of creating a new process to solve some of their cold cases. Gross. Um, with, oh, 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 there we go. Okay. Should I? I wonder if we could. <laughs> that no. Actually, doing a stream there, I think, is kind of tasteless. Like, I don't even want to watch the video a little bit. False flag me. Oh my goodness. Sandy, if you send me that right now, I'll take it. But you got to send it to me right now. Uh, there's Streamlabs. There, uh, we do take Streamlabs. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Here we go. Um, Allah. A la Ice Poseidon style. A Florida man tells deputy cocaine on his nose is not his. I mean, seems legit, right? I mean, who hasn't had cocaine on their nose that was not theirs? I mean, I can think of... <laughs> Let's look at this story. Okay, um, I think this is just media, by the way. I don't believe this is the actual person. Okay, a Florida man was arrested after dep... Florida! You guys, I, I, I honestly, I swear, I promise this was not on purpose, but, but this is Florida again. Troll Patrol, you're not banned, honey. Um, Hillsborough County, I don't know where the hell that is in Florida. I've only been there one time. Thank you for reminding me. I'm so sorry. Ugh, I got to do another one that's like non, uh, like that doesn't expire. Um, I, I will fix that. Oh, hold on, guys. We're having some tech support happening right now. Um, we're going to fix something. Okay. Okay. Um, a Florida man, uh, uh, give my location, that's funny. A Florida man uh, was arrested after deputies said they caught cocaine on his nose during a traffic stop. Again, very much uh, a lot as Poseidon. Uh, what the Hills, Hillsborough County Sheriff Office uh, said, Fabricio Jimenez, oh, I didn't mean to dox you, honey, but it's the story. Forgive me, Fabricio. Hey, send money on his books, because I'm pretty sure they, 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 chart, they booked him. Um, uh, was the passenger in what was, uh, that was pulled over by a deputy. The deputies noticed Jimenez what had a white powdery substance. Maybe it was makeup. Um, and ran a test for cocaine. Officials said the test yielded positive results, according to the sheriff's office. Deputies said Jimenez had a small bag of cocaine on him. Oh, see, Jimenez, um, for future reference, um, you, it was one thing to just have someone else's cocaine on your nose that you were holding for them. It's another issue altogether if you have a bag of it or some, you know, if you have more supply of it elsewhere. That's where you messed up, buddy. Deputies had a, uh, so a small bag on him. Uh, they also located a backpack that contained 250 grams of the marijuanas and 13 zannies. Mm. Officials said Jimenez was arrested without incident, but he attempted to tell the deputies that the cocaine was not his. Well, I think we need to get the cocaine, whoever it was, they need to get their cocaine back because they trusted Jimenez with this cocaine. So uh, justice for Jimenez and um, I hope the person who he was holding it for is not too upset, and I hope he was able to get um, have a good time regardless. Just kidding. Uh, okay, uh, here we go. Flight passenger opened emergency exit thinking it was the toilet. Why does this happen so many times? Oh, we got lemons! Yay! Okay, we can't see. I'm trying to see, let me see the whole page here. Is this going to... Oh, there goes the topic. Kind of a little bit. All right, whoop. Uh, 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 okay, a little bit framed up. Okay. You are holding. <sighs> um, it's been a while. It's definitely been a long, long time. Um, my my nose is very very sensitive, so it's not my thing. Uh, mm. oh oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm seeing chat. Uh, uh we have a smaller chat window. I want to say that's D lives, but um, it's really light. I'm gonna have to fix that on the next stream. Okay, uh, let's go full window, guys. This will look a little bit better. There we go. All right. The fl um, I am a wild girl that has fun, and guess what? We're we're trying different things right now. Um, find get sign your butt up on all the social media stuff that you can find you look my name up you can get on snapchat there's a lot of stuff that's still fun okay we're keeping it cleaner because um we're taking this to the next level okay that's what we're doing 
Uh, but don't think that we don't still have fun. Thank you for uh, who are you? I'm enjoying. Yeah, you you, you take them out. Eat the lemons. Um, <laughs> all right, I, I I have to eat more of these. Okay. I do, honey. Um, and I also have Streamlabs. My PayPal. Here, I'll write it. I'll write it on chat on Facebook. Let's do this. Thank you for asking. That is such a great question. Um, you know, you hear all, sto all these stories about people writing, um, what do you call it? Like uh, opening the door. Let me mute this. Opening the door on a plane. But you think it's like urban legends and like nobody does it. Thank you, Warrior, for following. You think it's an urban legend maybe and no one does it. Uh, oh, hold on. Let's write this down, by the way. Pay uh, dash. This is PayPal. Um, but if you want to use the um, the Streamlabs link up in the corner, that will actually make a sound and you'll get the GIF playing and it'll be, if, if you're trying to send someone a message, you want more, I mean, I, I, will, I will say it either way, but if you want to do the Streamlabs version, um, you'll get a bigger spectacle of that. Thank you very much. Okay guys, we're having some issues. Um, Okay, so here's the thing. So apparently it's not physically a, a, okay, here's what I'm thinking. Supposedly you can't open the door because of the pressure uh, at the speed that you're going. Um, I don't know, it's not the centripetal force, that's to go upside down. There, there's a pressure word, uh, pressure differential, um, that kind of makes it, you can't, I don't know what the PSI is on that, but apparently you can't do it. Um, but talk about an emergency evacuation. I, we're going to read this story anyway, but I'm not believing it. Guys, I, we got to get it to $60 if you want to see cleavage. Cleavage costs $60 tonight. That, that sounds really bad. <laughs> it's just a shirt change. But yeah, if we can get up to 60 that's a few more donos. You can do it on Street Labs. I will change my shirt. But right now, you need to uh, stop. You see this? Yield. Yield. Okay. Um... Uh, okay, if, if you are able to succeed, if you have the PSI power in your arms, uh, if you're Arnold, uh, it's going to cost you about $30,000 to do that. Have you ever had a moment on a plane where you needed to use the bathroom real bad? Oh my God, yes. And you stumble down the aisle, desperately searching for relief. You finally find a door, a sign of hope. I'm going to pee. Uh, as it happens, it's happened to the best of us. Uh, uh, this woman on board uh, Pakistan International Airlines. Okay, see, this changes everything. I don't know the... Um, durability of their planes and I, I i mean this with the utmost respect i just certain countries and stuff have different quality stuff um uh, uh okay uh a flight implored an alternate ending when the bathroom door she thought okay it turned out to be an emergency exit okay gulf news Can, I don't, is gulf news real i have not heard of this gulf news come back in undies no uh, I see. I'm not currently involved in any SJC drama, so I don't know what you mean. Um, uh, over 500 CCs, just a little bit though. Um, Z Z Boogie, I will refer you to uh, Snapchat. Wait, there we go. We gotta. I gotta get used to that. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, I do that all the time. I actually have a twerk fail video I recently put out uh, on, it's on Facebook and it's on Instagram. It, it'll be easier to find on Instagram because I have so much crap on Facebook. Um, basically, I was, you know, trying to make more content for premium and uh, I was using a mirror and it had a frame and the frame like smacked me in the face. It was great. Okay. Um, I don't think that... I'm gonna call fake news. I don't even wanna finish this story, but I feel like we're so deep, I need to know how. Um, what would have been a minor bathroom emergency calls quite the stir, a, a uh, pi, a, I guess that's a Pakistan. Uh, by the way, Alistair sings, uh, Alist Alistair knows Arabic, by the way. That's the Arabic alphabet. Um, uh, okay, relayed the flight that PK-702 from Manchester to Islamabad was delayed by seven hours. Um, the departure was delayed on Friday night when a passenger erroneously opened the emergency exit causing the chute to activate. I don't think it's true. All right, you, you guys, if the money's good, I will consider it. Tell them to get a hold of me 
Tell them they can go get, get a hold of me on my Snapchat or wherever you're watching me um, to message me there. Um, I'm sorry, the Discord link apparently is expired in a lot of my platform bios for some reason. So I need to make one that does not, um, that never expires for this. Uh, okay, well then here, I will, I will type in chat. I will give an, e uh, an email. Oh, I just, okay, here, this is my, this is my email though, so here we go. The PayPal um, is also my email. Free vacation, all right. All right, well, I'm into it. Just send, send them my, send them my, uh, there you go. Oh, okay, I just got an, I just got word. The cab, it was opened on the ground. So this is, uh, I'm acting brand new on Instagram. No, I'm, I'm the same, but I'm feeling brand new. Okay, so I'm over this story. We don't even need to finish it. It was open on the ground. That's not that exciting. I was thinking people were going to get sucked out and it was going to be all this dramatic, but obviously the cabin pressure, it would not work. I do deserve an, a vacation, all expenses paid. However, uh, it's, it's just got to be right. Okay, this is awesome. Uh, this woman, uh, in her debut book, she encourages children to love the skin they're in. Let's, let's talk about this, you know? So, uh, Lupita Nuango, I'm sorry if I said her name wrong, announced in her first book, uh, Sulwe, we, uh, we could be more excited. According to her Instagram page, the book is focused on helping children love the skin they're in, and that's amazing. As someone who once struggled to accept and appreciate her dark skin, it's an important message um, that young girl can share from firsthand experience. So that's awesome. I love it. I'm in if I want. All right, well, he's got to get a hold of me. Um, I don't make political claims on here, so you can presume as you wish. Okay, now we're gonna, that one. Oh, guys, this is, this is important, okay. Guys, women too, but mostly guys. Um, if you fart, and if you have no friends, or if people go away, or if they just don't talk, if they only talk to you as much as absolutely necessary. It may be because you're not getting away. They're, they're silent, but they're also very deadly. So this, this is a problem. Um, it is a law, it is a, I feel like it is a problem. It will always be a problem. Uh, it doesn't need to be anymore. Uh, I, I, I had, I thought my tagline was clever. Hey nasty ass as if you're farty as hell and no longer you no longer have to subject those around you to crop dusting or chemtrails. Uh, please be kind and neutralize what you leave behind. Oh. All right, you guys are silly. Okay, here's this is the story that you guys all came in for. Okay, a teacher beats up a student who owed him money for weed. Um, even more, allegedly they were mids. That's the funny part. Okay, that's fine. Definitely send my send my info. A Bronx. I'm hot, guys. Guys, you need to get on Snapchat right now. Get on Snap. Sorry, I, I keep forgetting. I have to point stage uh, stage directions. Get on my Snap. It's up there in the corner. We are playing a secret game. And if you're on my Snap, you'll know. And I'm hot, by the way. So if you want to participate, and know about the game. Find out on there. A Bronx charter school teacher recruited a student to help him score four Ks, that's four stacks, worth of uh, some, some green. Uh, and he beat up the teen senseless when he found out the kid pocketed the cash. Oh! That's why you don't front the supply. Thank you, who are you, number one? Um, technically, I'm not into that. Uh, again, we're trying to keep this, you know, mostly PG-13. Um, if on the premium though, there are Q and A's, so we can discuss that there. But um, on record, that is not my thing. Mm -mm. Okay, uh, Kevin Pope. Ooh, we name dropping right now. Forty-eight also stole the teen's iPhone and wallet and threatened to sexually assault his mother if he didn't get his money back. The sources said. Ooh, oh man. Uh, I will kill you if I don't get my money. Pope allegedly told the student after pummeling him. I want my money in a month. Uh, Pope, a science teacher. <laughs> It's always the science teachers, right? Uh, Walter White, <laughs> or he was a chemistry teacher, but chemistry is still science, right? Um, 
uh, Pope, a science teacher at John V. Lindsay Wildcat Academy in Hunts Point, was arrested at the school Friday morning and charged with assault and robbery in the uh, attack a day earlier. Pope had asked the students around the school in June if they knew a drug dealer they put in touch with the teen who promised he could score a large stash of uh, drugs with his contact in Manhattan. Okay, this teacher is just an idiot. I'm going to say that. My Snapchat here, I'll type it for you guys. Okay, so here's Snap. It's up in the corner, but if you're watching on mobile, it may be, uh, may be hard to see that. Uh, I think it squares up nicely, but maybe some platforms chop it off. Oh, okay, we gotta, let's spell it properly. It's TMB official, and I just wrote it in the chat just now. Um, no, they're actually reading glasses. Um, okay, guys, uh, this just in, 100 pounds is now fat. So, uh, ladies, uh, puke accordingly. Okay, the unidentified teen told cops he met the dealer near Central Park, but was told that the quantity of drugs he was seeking would cost 7000 Okay, so that's what you do. When you are fronted the money to hit the load, and it, it's apparently going to cost more, you just keep the four and you run. I personally would have switched school districts myself. Uh, the student then blew the transaction and spent the money according to sources. Oh, snap. It sounds like someone I know. Uh, three months later, shortly after the start of the new school year, Pope found the teen about two blocks away from Lafayette. Ooh, nothing good's happened there. A uh, building uh, demanded that the money be returned. When the student said it was gone, Pope allegedly socked him in the face multiple times, took his iPhone 6. Are you going to take the 6? I mean, I would think beating him up would be enough, like... Taking the iPhone 6, like maybe an 8 or like the, the 10, but you took the 6? Who even still has an iPhone 6? Okay, a uh, gold chain wallet containing the boy's school ID and two Metro cards. Oh, you took the Metro cards? A source said that Pope threatened to have him beat up again and his m mother assaulted. This stu uh, student needed three sur- Ooh, okay, so this was a serious beating. Uh, three surgical staples to close the gashes in the back of his head. Yeah, so when they do the, sur the staples, that's when the sewing is just not enough. So that that's a pretty big gash, guys. Um, the incident is on surveillance. I don't know that we have a tape from the story. Uh, directed all questions to the charter school, and of course they declined to comment. My eyes can get very wide because they're large and I'm expressive. If he buys me an iPhone X, just tell him to get in touch with me. <laughs> this is true. I have done films. And actually, I have to do a self-tape. I don't know if I'm going to get around to it tonight. I'm joking. I'm not bashing people's finances. You guys need to know when I'm trolling. I'm not joking. I'm not. No, I'm not going to bash that. Come on. You know me. You know me. I'm about it. I'm about with work with what you have, okay? If you have an iPhone 6, I ain't mad at you. I'm not mad at you. I'm just kidding. Um, I, I have an, uh, an 8. And people are like, ew, you have an 8? No. Mm -mm. I, I'm not bashing, okay? <laughs> no, no, no. We just playing. Okay, oh, we don't need this ad. Let's see what else we have in our news stories here. Okay. This is actually how I feel. Okay. Uh, uh. Uh, Backstreet Boys is the great. Uh, Backstreet Boys is the greatest boy band album of all time, according to Vice. All right, let's see what other ones. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh snap! This this is not. This is less than ideal. Okay. Um, trapeze artist <laughs> with diary. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, stand by. We lost our camera. All right, we don't know yet. Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing set in stone. Okay, trapeze artist with um, diarrhea uh, had, uh, goes sh on 23 people. One, a wonderful Belgian circus <laughs> has arrived full of magic, illusion, and laughter. I say bring your, uh, what do you call them? Thank you, oopsie. Thank you for the follow, honey. Uh, bring your uh, ponchos, you know, like when you go on a wet ride. <laughs> Um, and timbres to our brave trapeze artists with the presentation of the circus was Friday in Valencia. All this news is like happening Friday. Uh, what was not expected 
Oh my god, this was live. I thought this was a rehearsal. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm not worried about the rumors, guys. It's all good. Thank you for being here. Please get up, please add all the social media. I address a lot of this stuff on my snap, by the way. Um, because it does tend to interrupt the show. So sometimes some questions I feel worthy of response are uh, uh, addressed there. Uh, it was not expected by the audience, children, adults, old people, that in the middle of a show, and you guys, I should have read this story beforehand. I can't stop laughing. This is why, like, if I ever wanted to be an anchor, I would really struggle with the funny stories. Um, especially if you have to report on something that's, like, kind of messed up but still funny, and you have to be, like, demure about it, you know? Um, I don't know. Lauren, if you're still honey, if you're still here, honey, uh, let us know. Everyone's really curious about you. Um, she did stop by, and she was very nice. There's no, uh, on the record, there's no beef with me and Lauren, okay? Awesome. I have never killed anyone. Thank you for the sub. Uh, okay. okay. In the middle of the show, and when... It was the turn of the trapeze artist. The athletic girl suffered a fateful, irreversible intestinal problem. It's raining S. Let's get out of here. Run away. Were the words of the people who were under the trapeze artist. <laughs> After noticing the unexpected rain, at least 23 spectators were splashed. Um, it's not the Cirque du Soleil. It's the Cirque du Soleil. Shh. Um, <laughs> it's that affected people. At the moment, it's unknown if the smelly, angry spectators are going to present a, cons a complaint about the events. Now, I personally smell a class action, uh, but I don't know. I mean, you could, because technically you could spread disease. I mean, some people may actually be like traumatized and require therapy, in which they, are, they're, uh, may, they may be granted a, a tort case, which is where you prove punitive damage and the emotional suffering. Let's move on. Okay, uh. Okay, this is a story I really wanted to share with you guys. Um, I'm gonna take a quick break after this story because I have been crossing my legs really hard because I have to pee. Okay, man uh, robbed a bank with using an only avocado. Okay, it's not, this is, first of all, excuse me, this is yellow journalism. Do you know what that is? I, su I suggest you Google it. Mm-hmm. This is yellow journalism, okay? All right, um, the alleged robber, man arrested after robbing two banks using nothing but an avocado. That's good, that's, that's good work. Alleged robber made off with nearly uh, US uh, 8,000 from two separate incidents before. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I rob a bank, I'm gonna get more than eight grand. Okay, um, and the weapon was revealed to be a fruit. Okay, so we can imagine, maybe he had it wrapped around his hand like it was a bomb, like I could see that. Like maybe he tried to make, make it look like a grenade. Uh, okay, so he's the, the, our, the author, um, or not author, journalist. Uh, when I was in middle school, a classmate's dad was arrested for robbing a bank with a kitchen knife, although I think he made off the premises with some amount of cash. The cops quickly tracked him down um, because his first and middle name were stamped on his personalized license plate. <laughs> and one of his neighbors worked as a security guard at the same bank. Okay, that's great. It's a long way of saying the Israeli man is far from the worst bank robber, especially since his weapon of choice was an avocado, just a regular avocado. Now, here's what I'm thinking. Um, I don't know the laws everywhere. Um, it is it is a terroristic threat, right? To, because I'm, I'm assuming he had to have modeled it as some type of bomb. Because I've never heard of an avocado gun, but I would like one if they could work on that. I would definitely shoot loads of avocados into my mouth. According to the Times of Israel, if someone wants a fact check, let me know. Uh, the unidentified 47-year-old walked into a branch of Postal Bank in Beersheba, Israel's shopping mall, and handed a teller a misspelled... Okay, I love it. I'm going to notice typos, too, if someone is going to use a note to rob my bank. I'm going to be like, I'm, I'll actually correct the typo before I go to grab the cash, just so he knows and he doesn't sound, uh, you know, as bad next time. Uh, and the... Okay, a note asking for all the money in the drawer. He had a small black object in his right hand and insisted he would throw the grenade. I called it, obviously, to throw the grenade. If she didn't comply, she gave him uh, an NIS 16000 which is US $4,474 cash. So that's, you could move into a uh, studio, maybe, in LA, 
and walked out of the building. Five days later, he went to a different postal bank branch. <laughs> <laughs> carrying the same black item, uh, the same threats. Uh, his one mistake, other than robbing the bank, was that he carried his cell phone with him while he committed the crimes, <laughs> despite the fact that he took care uh, to wear a wide-brimmed hat and cover his face. His phone's geolocation data snatched and police op er, snitched, and police officers were able to identify him, find him, and put him under arrest. His name has not been released, but the officers have confirmed that he had a criminal record and he had already served three years in prison for a previous robbery. <laughs> Oh my God, that's great. All right. So guys, we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna take a quick break here. Uh, okay. We're gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna go to an AFK. Uh, be sure to get on Snap and all that noise. Uh, see you in a few minutes. Thanks for hanging out.
Okay, is this the right one? Okay, we're back. Let me clip this back on. Okay, actually, I don't know if that's the right camera because we have two cameras. The color looks different, right? I didn't wash my hair today. It's not cute. Okay, hold on. Actually, I gotta pause that because I have a playback monitor going. Or I'll just leave it. I'll leave it. We'll leave it. Sorry. Oh, no, I have to fix it because we're getting feedback. Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry if that's irrapy at all. by I'm unable to find the window to pause it I apologize I have playback windows okay um okay we're back and I, I gotta watch my levels Mike because like I, I'm watching so many things right now I'm trying to keep up with chat I'm trying to uh oh this isn't exactly what I wanted but it's okay here here we go there was another story I wanted to get into okay that's not fake news by the way some of you are really upset by some of these stories Let's get into something that most definitely is happening. Now, you know I like to kind of veer away from the, the political stuff. Um, Gucci has... N Can you guys hear the audio playing from something away? Actually, let me mute it. I'm sorry. It's like driving me nuts. Thank you so much, Paul, for hanging out. I got to fix something over there. One second. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have a playback monitor. Let me get this back on. I have a playback monitor over there so I can see like what's going on real time. And uh, the sound popped up, so I apologize for that. Okay, we're back. Welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so I don't have a thong, but thank you for noticing. It's laundry day. Okay, Gucci really needed to redeem themselves. Uh, as you know, a while back, they had a kind of hoodie, long turtleneck thing that was a lot offensive to people, and I could definitely relate, and not, I'm sorry, I could understand. I'm not dark, I'm not, I'm not dark-skinned, but I can relate to feeling like, you know, maybe that's what they're, they're getting at, you know, and, that wasn't okay, that was a big problem. People were very offended by that and that is completely understandable. And I guess, this, I, I don't know if this was their attempt to capitalize on the emotions felt by the, um, all the bans happening with the abortions and whatnot, or if they truly wanted to put the message out there. Um, whether, you know, whether your stance on this we don't need to get into that, um, but they are pro-life, we'll say that, um, or, and here's the thing guys, pro-life is not necessarily pro-abortion, it's being uh, able to have the choice. Well, men, yes, you can use tampons, okay? Um, you could have a bloody nose, you could have a bloody ear, you could have any type of bloody orifice, okay? Um, if you're a playa and you got girls coming to your pad all the time and you, you're, you know, you just a type of throw a towel down type of guy, it's, you know, and you have tampons. Oh my God. It's like, it's like when you go to the club at the bathrooms and they have like the bathroom attendants. Hmm. I know I do. I put them up every, everything that's bleeding. And you know what guys, this means she's not pregnant. How about that? Okay. So this is cheaper than diapers. We've already we've already covered this. I know it's the theme of the night. We talked about it for quite a bit, um, but we've already we've already done this. But yeah, no longer addressing tampon comments. Uh, I'm being scanned. Please. Okay, you guys just say I'm gonna read this story. 
Um, Belingered luxury brand Gucci has made a loud statement about abortion with the rollout of its uh, Cruise 2020 collection designed by Gucci's creative director, Alessandra Michelle. The collection featured garments with provocatively pro-abortion messaging. Oh. Okay, we don't... All right, eventually we're gonna have to get some more moderators. It, I am hot. I am hot, I'm hot. Guys, if you are playing along, um, if you're on my Snapchat, you will know there is a game, that there is a secret game that's being played during this stream. And I am hot, by the way, so you can go ahead and indulge. Okay, uh, let's keep reading. Mm. Oh, I know, here we go. I got a couple screens here, I had to move the mouse to the right spot. Okay, um, d describe the collection the, in the unveiled uh, Capitoline Museums in Rome on May 28th in an interview with Women's Wear, Women's Wear Daily. As paying homage to the Italian raw regarding abortion, the fashion line included a purple jacket with the frequency used pro-abortion catchphrase, my body, my choice. We'll see that momentarily. Oh, uh, okay, as a jacket featuring the Itali um, Italy's abortion law and a skirt with a flowering uterus, uh, Michelle claimed that pro-life pro, uh, passed in various states in the U.S. Made, uh, made me consider how much women should be highly respected, according to the AP. Um, if you want to be mod, I'm going to need you to get on Discord. Um, get on my Snap, guys, because I'm going to be on Snapchat mass sending uh, a link, an unexpirable link. Um, I, yet, uh, okay, yes, I, I am a clown. Yes, very much. I, I am a clown. You, you caught me. You caught the clown. Uh, <clears throat> so here's, <clears throat> this is the jacket. It's tailored very nicely. It's, you know, we did, we have done Reddit. We were doing Reddit a couple streams ago. And honestly, front page of Reddit was not great. I'm like, damn, they're putting everyone on the front page. Uh, my favorite is, uh, well, get on my Snap and I'm going to send everyone on Snap, my Discord. Um, and you can also say, hey, Discord. Um, we're trying, we've, we're ha we've had some uh, troll problems, so I gotta send them manually, and I will be doing that later after the stream. We're probably gonna stream for another 20 minutes or so and then call it a night. Uh, but here's the jacket. You can see it's very nicely tailored in the bold uh, My Body, My Choice right there. Um, I wanted to portray the idea to interrupt the uh, pregnancy does not wipe out the garden, the flower, and the uterus of every woman. Uh, Michelle said in a recorded remarks provided to the AP, the Italian fashion designer made no mention of the preborn baby whose body is... Okay, okay, okay we're, we're not going to... All right. We're not going to be gruesome, but here, here's the design. Uh, Michelle justified his pro-life ab abortion messaging by asserting, the only world I can imagine is a world where every single person can be who they want to be without any sort of restriction or judgment. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. And guys, if you want to go ahead and tell the chat where your stance on, you know, your your thoughts, that's great. I'm not going to get too much into mine because I don't want to I don't want to um, lose any of you. <laughs> My political statements should not affect your entertainment, but you have all by all means you you are free to express how you feel. Um, this is a discussion, not a contest. We're not trying to prove who's right. We're just reporting a story. Uh, you know, Gucci's known for their controversial uh, statements sometimes. And as you recall, last spring, I feel, it, I feel it was last spring, there was a garment. It was like a long turtleneck, and it was essentially blackface. People were not happy about it. And I guess this is how, I don't know if they're trying to correct it with this or what. Um, okay, that's ridiculous. Uh, here's the thing, guys. Uh, whether or not you are your stance on that is, you know, there are definitely some cases where it's not right to have to take something to term. Like there, there are cases where the child is actually not going to make it or there's severe, severe um, uh, deformities or conditions in which the child will not have a good life or will not likely live after birth. Um, there's also cases in which, you know, uh, rape, incest, well, we don't need to get into all that. But I, I, I think Whatever, okay. Uh, okay, without any sort of restriction or judgment. Yet the violence of abortion condemns voiceless people every day, never having a chance at becoming who they'd like to be. The very laws that Michelle and Gucci are protecting seek to protect, foster, empower human lives. 
with the goal of ensuring to use uh, Michelle's own words that every single person can be who they want to be without sort of any sort of restrictions or judgment. Uh, you know what? Um, I don't think living paycheck to paycheck is a racial thing. That is a reality for a lot of people. The middle class is disappearing every day. So I'm not going to respond to that. Uh, okay, uh, earlier in 2019, the Italian fashion brand made headlines when it debuted the uh, Bal uh, Balakava sweater. Yeah, see, yeah, I, I don't, we're not going to give this any attention. We're not going to give that one attention. But yeah, so the, I kind of think it was a... Um, course correction or I think they were they were trying to do something to make up for that because everyone you, you know the model who, who walked that on the the catwalk actually spoke out about it because I'll tell you um, I'm five seven so I'm not tall to do I'm not tall enough to do like high fashion high fashion I have done some um, but more 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 often than not all the fashion events runway stuff that I have done uh, you don't know what the hell you're wearing it is like, it, when you go backstage, it is, it is a nightmare. It is a zoo. It's like, I, I've actually been punched in the face accidentally while I was in a lineup going to walk. And I had to keep going. I checked my lash. I was a little stunned and I just kept walking. And what was happening is the guy who just got off had to get back in the lineup and he was putting, uh, putting on or taking off a jacket. But I got punched like Boom, because I was like, they're like, go, go, go. And I was like, oh, and I just, and you know, just, just keep walking, you know. <laughs> um, I wish, because there was a lot of filming going on backstage. Um, I, oh my God, if that was on, if anyone filmed that, like I even asked around, I'm like, did anyone film that? Like I just got punched in the face, but it's kind of fucking funny. Oh my God, that was the first F of tonight. I'm sorry. Uh, by the way, I'm hot. Anyone playing along on Snapchat? I am hot, H-O-T. It is so hot in here. Yeah, so uh, I got punched in the face and it was, uh, I, I thought it was so funny. I wish I had the footage to like upload it because like, what the hell? But you know, you know you're like, that shows my work ethic. I got punched and I just kept walking. I just checked my lash, you know, because, you know, they did the fake, the fake lashes and stuff, and I kept going. Am I a journalist? No. Um, I do not have a degree in journalism. I do not have a degree in communications. My education is in sound design. However, I think I could take a few classes because it would transfer, right? All my uh, general ed would transfer, and I might just get a degree in journalism. And then uh, all the scuff stuff comes and comes out, and the premium comes out. Because I'll use my legal name, of course. Then I'll get fired, and then it'll be this whole controversy. Like, that's a plan for maybe later on. Um, Liddy, it's Liddy Lauren Mod. I told her to get on my Discord or get on my Snap, and, you know, we could talk. But we're not ganging up people against people. That's not what we're doing. Oh, here we go. Now, this, this story I have a problem with. I have a huge problem. Okay, Caroline Biden, uh, Biden's niece, uh, Joe Biden's niece, pleads guilty in $110,000 theft. That's a lot of money. Uh, I didn't thank them. I just hoped someone caught it on video because I thought it was very funny. See, here's the thing about me. Um, I don't mind making a jackass of myself. I have no problem laughing at myself because I enjoy being surrounded by people laughing. You know, even if it's a little bit at my expense, even if it's a little bit embarrassing, I just think it's funny, it's comedic relief, and I'm glad to be that person. Uh, so yeah, I'm all for it, you know? I support everyone. We don't need to make this racial, okay? Um, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to like lock down my mods everywhere because I do not support this. Okay, honestly, I, you're, I'm about to pull up switch, Twitch and block your ass because that's not cute. We love everybody up on here. We're not going to be racial. Like, seriously? Okay, okay I'm going to report the story and I'm going to block you, okay? Um, I'm a, you didn't even let me read the story. Here, here's how I'm going to do it, okay? I'm going to report the story. I'm going to report the facts. After I report the facts, I will, I will give you a few of my opinions on them. But right now, we are just reporting the story, okay? Uh, a niece of former Vice President Joe Biden has pleaded guilty in a $110,000 credit account theft in a New York City drugstore. I wonder what she bought. Caroline Biden admitted, um, yeah, I'm going to block you after every, you know what, no, actually, I'm really tired of this. Uh, I'm over it. So here, look, I got Twitch right here. 
All right, we're gonna make this happen. Wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. Wait. Wait, hold on. Should I block him? Wait, where's my camera? Is this one? Shoot. Oh, hold on. No, there's too much glare. It says block Mr. Albino Reindeer. Yes. And it's not because you're albino, it's because you're racist. That's okay, bye. Bye-bye. Actually, um, will someone go grab my vape right now? Just kidding. Caroline Biden admitted Friday to grand larceny and petty larceny with an agreement to two years probation. If she repays the money, uh, does 10 days community service and avoids rearrest for a year. I'm not racist. I just don't want... You're making racist comments. No. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hold on. There we go. Hold on. Ah! Did I don't know if it blocked him. It's supposed to block him. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to take a quick break. Uh, excuse me for a moment.
smiley face. <laughs>
I don't like this because this just shows you political privilege and then on top of that political privilege. So this this actually bothers me. That story does bother me and uh, it's just unfortunate that that's the way the world works sometimes. It, I'm, I'm not into it. All right, let's see what other stories we have here. Okay, okay, this one. I definitely wanted to report on this story. I am not okay with this. Walmart service to deliver groceries inside your home. Are you guys going to let Walmart just like come in your house and like put your groceries away in your fridge? No, what the hell? I might have a body in there, okay, that I haven't figured out what to do with. Or maybe I'm collecting blood for some reason, for some type of ritual thing. Walmart people don't need to know about that. So I will not be using this service personally. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Uh, let's go ahead and play the video. This is a KSBW report. Okay, unfortunately there's a commercial. Oh, we can skip the ad. We have the first look into Walmart's new Thank you for the follow. delivery services in homes, a way for customers to order fresh groceries and other items and have them sent straight to their kitchen or garage fridge. They'll even drop off when you're not home. Walmart no! Executives say this is just another step in making shopping easier for customers. Say to Sandy, yes, 100%. Uh, we know we've got great prices on fresh and frozen and, and, and groceries in general. And, you know, customers were, were uh, gravitating toward pickup. Um, and same thing with same-day delivery to their door, and so we started to think about how no. can we, you know, lean into this advantage even how about no? and do more. Um, and so just did some, Not into it. Know, had some discussion, did some research with customers to say what if we were able to deliver it directly into the fridge. And there was a lot of interest there, obviously, and so that's when you know we started to. Oh, we lost it. Out. One second, guys. There you go. The new service will be available this fall to over a million customers in Kansas City, Pittsburgh, and Vero Beach, Florida. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Florida. I feel like something's gonna happen that's just not. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, excuse the ad, guys. I apologize. Out here, it's hard to sit still. You really? Amazon. You know what? It is Amazon. Unfortunately, is killing a lot of businesses. Um, but you know, the other problem is that I support small business as much as possible, but sometimes I can't afford to, and I. So there's a lot of problems, you know, um, we're just, the money's just not, not the same. The um, open in town this week hold on. All about golf. I'm so sorry that this story is continuing. I, I got to kill the video. One second, guys. Okay, more news. Okay, let's. Here at Black Horse Bay, uh, and excuse, golf let's fix this. Seaside. This is a pretty typical board. Okay. That was a, I don't like that crack that happened right there. Nope. Okay. Uh, Walmart services to deliver. Okay. Walmart is now offering to have one of its employees deliver. And you know, the, uh, they're very thoroughly screened. These, these uh, employees that are going to come into your kitchen or your garage uh, and put them in your fridge when you're not home. Okay. I have to have my fridge a certain way. I can't have certain foods touching other foods. Like they, they're, they're, they, you know, like they click up. My foods click up in my fridge. And uh, I don't think um, I would like that very much. And, and I mean, like, they're going to have access to that? No. Why does anyone think this is a good idea? This is a terrible idea. Um, Barry, uh, only one way to know. Get on my Snap. I also have a premium. You could confirm that on a premium. We're going to keep this show family friendly for now. Uh, and, yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, the nation's largest grocer said Friday that it will be offering the services for more than a million customers in three cities, Pittsburgh, Kansas, and Missouri, Vero Beach, Florida. Those are really random places to try it. I think maybe because the metro areas are like, no, 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 we're not having that. Um, like, this seems really random. Like, what's going... To... Okay, guys, the racist stuff, I'm just not, I'm not with that. So, not cool. Uh, <clears throat> And also accept returns for items. Okay, see, and that's convenient if they'll take returns that you don't want. Uh, here, we'll put the snap in the chat again. Uh, it's up in the corner. There's a little icon, but if you guys are viewing from mobile, I understand you may not be able to see that very well, so I just typed it in chat. <clears throat> the new service is part of Walmart's drive to expand its shopping options that include curbside pickup and online grocery delivery. Amazon offers a similar service in certain cities, dropping off packages inside homes, garages, or car, tr 
You're not going to open my car trunk. No. No. I, this is not okay. This is not, honey, I do taxes, so you're going to waste their time. All right? I, 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 do, I do my taxes, so I have, I have a business license. Okay. <clears throat> With Walmart's new service, customers place a grocery delivery order online and then select home delivery and delivery day at checkout. Walmart's workers use smart entry technology and a proprietary wearable camera. Okay, they have to wear a camera. I feel a little bit better, but I'm still not going to sign up for it, you know? I'm not going to sign up for it. Uh, it allows shoppers to control access into their home and give them the ability to watch the delivery. Okay, so you can watch the delivery remotely. Mm. Okay, facts. Are, okay, I'm, I'm just not responding to anything hateful. Okay, then we'll go through an extensive training program that prepare them for things like how to select the freshest groceries and how to organize the refrigerator. No, I organize, how do they know how I like my fridge, Walmart? You don't know that, okay? Like, there are certain commonsensical things about where to place certain items, but I, my items in my fridge, they all, the like items stay with each other and they don't like other items touching them. My plate is very much the same when I'm eating. Hello, uh, uh, Casey Armory. Thank you, Tommy Chapman. It's good to see you back, honey. I hope you're doing well. Um, I filed my taxes this year, so they're not going to be calling. But thank you for your concern. With Amazon service, customers need to be Amazon Prime members, and they have to buy a camera and Wi-Fi connected lock from the Seattle-based company. It starts at $250. Shoppers will then be able to select in-home delivery with the Amazon app, and the delivery person shows up, will knock, scan the package, and will make sure Delivery person is at the right home, unlock the door, no codes are needed, and the indoor camera will record the indoor delivery. All right, well, I still don't like it. I still don't like it. I'm not, I'm not into it. <clears throat> All right, let's keep this going. Do we have any more stories? Okay. <clears throat> How a threesome invitation that turned into murder. By the way, guys, I am H-O-T hot as hell in here. We have production lights and we have equipment. Anyone who's on my snap, you know we are playing a game at home. So I'm hot. You know what to do. I'm very, I'm very uncomfortably at a less than desirable temperature. Threesome invitation that turned into murder. Oh, don't you hate when that happens? Like That's only happened to me like twice. But I really feel for these guys. How a conversation on a dating app led to a man being stabbed through the heart. Good stuff. Um, when the first responders arrived, Timothy Smith's death looked like a tragic accident. On Thursday, the 16th of March, around 9 p.m., police were called on an industrial estate in Shepherds, a small commuter town in Lincolnshire. Uh, I don't think I said that right. A silver Ford Focus appeared. If he was in a Ford Focus. Just kidding. Ford Focuses are fine. Uh, appeared to have had crashed into a wall. Uh, inside an East Midlands ambulance service had found the body of a 45-year-old Timothy Smith, a forklift instructor from Strats, uh, Stratsfordshire who lived in Tamworth an hour drive away. Um, okay, guys, uh, by the way, yes, d be, me and Dave are with child. Yes, yes, we, we have just gone over this many times. Me and Dave are having a child. Yes. Okay, so, um, guys, uh, the comments are moving really fast, and I love this so much if you guys want to get my attention you can use Streamlabs, and i'm obviously you're going to get your shout that way so let them know uh ooh, let's keep the story going unconscious and unresponsive oh that's no good uh smith was pronounced dead at the scene doa however he was found to have injuries not consistent with a road accident and witnesses had seen the two men fleeing the industrial estate following the post-mortem examination it was clear that something was amiss a uh, stab wound to the heart had killed smith and not the crash oh my god so not only did they like stay like they drove his car into it and like tried to frankenstein the scene but they forgot how they actually killed him and there was nothing to impale him in the vehicle that's a bad look guys that's a bad look that's a bad look. All right. So unlocking, uh, uh, I'm sorry, through intensive CTI, T or CC, <laughs> closed circuit television, uh, an examination of Smith's phone and online appeals from Lickasire, Lee Shit, Lissist, I can't read. Uh, detectives have placed two young men at the scene, Mark Law and Mason Casey. Unpicking the evidence, uh, police determined the sequence of events that led to his death. Mark Law and Timothy Smith first made contact on the dating app Badu. Watch out for Badu, okay? Ba don't. I say Ba don't. On which the law sent uh, the older man a photo of his um, areas. 
and uh, to offer up th a offer up a threesome. On the night of the 16th at about 8.30 p.m., Smith picked up a 20-year-old Law and 17-year-old Casey. Ooh, I don't know the consent there. In Shepsburg and was directed to a nearby uh, Gilders Hall Industrial Estate. It was there in which they thought was an empty car park that Law forced a hunting knife into the stranger's chest, puncturing his heart. Smith was fatally injured, tried to drive away, but only managed to... Uh, uh, last night. Okay. Okay, a few, a few meters before crashing into the wall, the two young men ran off uh, with the, through the knife, which was later recovered into a pond just a half hour after meeting Law and Casey Smith was dead. That is really unfortunate. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, if you're confused with this report, you're not alone. The story of uh, Smith's murder has a lot of holes. Why did the two men choose to murder a man they'd never met? Were there genuine sexual motives, or was it just a part of the trap? Why was Mason Casey there before the night of the 16th when all the communication had been solely between Smith and Mark Law? See, this is strange. I don't know. All of these questions the police tried to answer when they arrested the pair varying, to varying degrees of success, which were able to establish it fairly quickly, was each suspect's position. Law admitted to the murder, while Casey denied any involvement. Stressing he was unaware of what would transpire when he got into Smith's car, blaming his accused for the crime. All right, just saying. Um, when you are planning to have a, uh, what, what do they call it, a smut three-way? You got to make sure your tag team buddy is really like on the same page. Because you can't go back from that. Murder is murder. You can't unmurder. The art of necromancy is known by few and few and few. Very few. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a done deal. You can't go back from that. So, I, like, I, threesomes in general, you got to pick the right people. But if you're going to have a smut threesome, that, that is a whole other ball game, And you got to really just be determined on the same page and, and about it. Uh, that's where one of these guys went wrong. Because clearly someone had a conscience and did the right thing. Or decided that it wasn't for them. Okay. Uh, it was uh, Mark Lotta's house, and we, this is one of the uh, eyewitness accounts. Um, and we left there because he had a phone call of the Timothy guy. Uh, it was by the Mercury telling investigators, we went to the, bath, or the bottom of the road, and Mark was like, you coming? I got in the car behind Mark, and we drove to Gelder's Hall. Wait, hold on. I keep losing my... Okay, around the corner, as the car stopped, I got, to, I got my boots up. I finished fastening one of my boots, and Mark jumped out of the car saying, go, go, we got to go now. He was like, I just stabbed him. Plot twist. This three-way is not happening. It is more of just a, I just got like a murder-esque um, homicidal craving right now. So, and I'm just going to have, bring you in on it. Like, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. He was like, I've just stabbed him. So I panicked and ran off. Just went. He didn't want to be involved in it. He was behind me. He was following me. He was like, I can't believe I've just done that. I stabbed the guy. Oh, I can't believe I just, I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe I just stabbed that guy. Same thing. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I can't believe. Okay, so, so he's going in circles. Uh, didn't think he'd actually do something like that. I thought it was all just talk. Yeah, I'm not buying it. The talk Casey was referring to was Law's admission sometime before the murder. He was interested in cannibalism. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, as well as a conversation between the pair about killing Michael, another man Law had met sent and sent sexual messages to in Badu. Again, I'm going to call this app, but don't. But don't do it. Just but don't. But don't, but don't, but don't. Uh, his trial, court hurt, blah, blah, blah. I'm in. Uh, Here we go. Okay. Uh, later, he sent Casey screenshots of his Badeau conversation with the man at Texas' his friend. Kill him with a knife emoji. Uh, Casey told the jury, I didn't mean anything by it. I was humoring him with a laugh and a joke. None, was, none of this was serious. However, the prosecutor, James House of QC, said Casey told police in his interview that he knew Law had wanted to kill Michael and that he had accompanied him to the industrial state to meet him a week before the murder of Timothy Smith. So, do you... Do, did you say what happens when he turns up? Asked Mr. Holm. No, said Casey. There was, was there any conversation? What would happen when he'd be killed? Okay, never showed. Uh. My biceps are insane, by the way. Ridiculous. 
All right, guys. Um, it is really late. It is 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Let's skim right here. I need to really stop skimming, by the way. Sesso being chopped up. But they didn't eat them. So they're like the worst cannibalists ever. Like, how do you... Okay, you're already in that deep. You already stabbed them. How do you... Like, at that point, how... how okay, I don't want to eat them now. I don't get it. It's stupid. I'm, I'm not into it. Um, there's more stories, but I think we're going to call it a night, guys. Be sure to get on the social media. Everything is under my name. That's Tracy Marie Breyer. Let's spell this out. Here we go. You can do the Google if you're about that. You can find stuff. Um, but pretty much all my social media you're going to find under my name. Snapchat. Let's type that in the chat again. Hold up. And uh, I want to apologize for, I think it one, one, I want to say Twitch. Uh, we had a lot of Twitch um, comments that do not reflect the show whatsoever, so I apologize for that. Uh, we're going to shut it down. So if anyone has any last questions, comments, now is your time. You have the floor. Literally shutting the shit down in about a minute, so let's get some background noise. Mm -hmm. And we got to keep it royalty free because I'm not trying to get flagged on anything. Okay, a bunch of TED Talks in my... A bunch of new TED Talks, apparently. All right, you know what? We don't need music right now. Um, oh, you know what? We did, did someone... Okay, I had one of my mods. They were supposed to type in the Discord link. Uh, you know what? Let me see if I can do this manually right now. If you add me on Snap and do it, because I got a link, and then when I was trying to post it, it like made like a, a widget or something. It was really annoying. Um, here, let's... I can say it. Oh, no, I'm getting calls. Uh-oh. This is no good. Okay, hold up. Oh, no, I'm getting blown up. This is going to be a long night, guys. Uh, you know what? Just I'm, I'm, do it on... I'm going to send, like, a mass, like, ad on Snap because we're trying to protect the Discord from a few individuals. So hit me up on there. Thank you, Truth Realm. Thank you very much. We also need to save up for an AMSR mic. So once we hit the goal for the production lights, maybe we can do that. Um, I would say no, that's not true. We're actually on seven platforms and you only have view counts for three of the seven. So mm, you might be wrong. I, can, I can't even keep up with chat. So I think I do have a few viewers. What are you doing with your life? Just kidding. No, I don't, I don't, I don't need to feed into that. All right, guys, that's it for the stream. Love you guys. You're awesome. Hit me up on Snap. I'll be on it later. And uh, good show tonight. Uh, guys, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Hit me up. Take care.